Hey guys, I'm here. Welcome back. It has been a long wait, but we are finally diving back into season three of Chucky. And we're just going to go ahead and jump right into this, guys. So if you want to see the full lengthy reaction, as always, you can check it out over on Patreon or if you come here with the channel, get you access as well. It is a watch along format, so you will need your own footage to sync up the time codes to react to the entire episode. Over there, you get the same thing for all the other shows and movies that we cover in the channel. You also get to suggest and vote on what movies to react to each month. We got month QAs, behind the scenes footage to try to make it worth your while. So sure to support the channel. But guys, at the end of the day, I really appreciate it. Enjoy this reaction. Please leave a like, drop a comment, subscribe if not already. That all said out of the way, let's go ahead and hop into episode five. Here we go. My family and I are no strangers to tragedy. And while this might be the White House, for me and my family, it is also home. We're devastated on the tragedy that unfolded here last night. Oh no. Um, so he is seeing him. Most of the guests last night were also close friends and colleagues. I love it. Nice way to follow up on the spirits within the White House storyline. The guests here last night were... <laughs> <laughs> oh, this, this is gonna look great. Killer is getting more brazen, and the bolder he gets, the more we risk losing control of the narrative. It might be time to change the game plan. We could feed some of what we know to the media. I hope you're kidding. I'm sorry, what? It comes out that we knew something. We'll look negligent or worse, complicit. That's certainly a risk. No. Dude, fuck this guy. to protect the president, my family and ourselves, I'll remind you, is to push through it. Hey, yeah, yeah, nah, 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 nah. And there's something else you need to see. Watch that. Oh, I'm sorry to say this, but I'm sorry. We the might be dealing with something fuck? else. Does that figure look familiar, Madam First Lady? Could be anything. A trick the light. You're here to find a killer, so find Venus him. and swamp gas. Oh, the withering Chucky heads. Nice. So now, unfortunately, their son's ghost is working as a scapegoat. Good job. Grant, have you seen my book? <laughs> what the fuck was that? Do we know if they've, they've been greenlit for another season yet? Because I did see that Don Mancini is returning to film for a new Chucky as well. Do you ever see Joseph? I see him every day. No, 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 no. No. The real one. Not the doll. The real Joseph, your brother. Do you ever see him? Henry. I think it's time to go. God, and now she's going to cover this up despite what she saw on the phone. She's going to make him seem even more crazy now. The Halloween party is a sign of what's to come. Chucky's out for blood. When is he not? <laughs> We have to get back in there. Grant is not my biggest fan at the moment. <sighs> this isn't good. God, boys are so fragile. It's all male ego tripping bullshit with you guys. Well, I mean, not really in this case. <laughs> Thinks I used him to get a behind the scenes tour. You did. You, yeah. Or do you think you can fix it with him? Can I manage a proud, delicate, wounded teenage boy who's painfully head over heels into me? Well, I don't know about that last bit. Oh, no. He's looking rough. I mean, I don't think he's going to be killing anybody himself anytime soon looking like this. <laughs> don't pay me enough for this shit. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Not water in there, is there? <laughs> Let's put that right next to all the chemicals, though. It's like he's gonna do a little cocktail in himself. Good God, what a swig. Oh, God. God, he's so fucking creepy, man. You'd think you'd smell that the second you opened it. You don't ever feel like the thrill is gone? <laughs> like nothing even matters anymore. <laughs> I used to live for this shit. You, 
dying in agony. Me gleefully watching you die in agony. You just can't imagine how disappointing this is for me. Now I gotta fucking clean this up. Then why'd you even do it? Okay, so the White House has underground tunnels. So all we need to do is find a this tunnel. This is a national treasure, babe. I've already looked into those tunnels. <laughs> You, you think they wouldn't have that locked down? You know, I love it when you come up with creative solutions. Yeah, well, I'll let you know when I think of a creative solution for a skydive wielding voodoo magic. Power Rangers the movie descend right into it. If Charles and Ray can manipulate magic, maybe we can too. It's time to give Chucky a taste of his own medicine. That's a change of pace. Let's give it a go. We start by searching for voodoo on the dark web. Dude, Tiff has a voodoo for dummies book and it works, so can't be that difficult. Oh, a metaphysical expert. He's in Georgia, about a day's drive away. Road trip. Are we seriously going to Georgia right now? I mean, I guess we're short on uh, ideas. Might as well, well, fuck it, right? It's either that or Lexi mends this relationship. Are you cold? I have your favorite blankie. What the hell? Where did he hide her? Wait, what? Is that that dude's eye from before? Are we having more supernatural shit happening? Oh, wow. Yeah, he is. He's starting to see... Remnants and visions of his ex. And this kid's gonna, I mean, it's already been real rough, but he's gonna grow up all kinds of fucked up after all this stuff, man. I mean, what are, what were his options? <laughs> now I can't even get it up. This is so important. Embarrassing. Tell me about this curse. Oh my God, it's the same guy. Are you familiar with this doll? I can't disclose information on other patients. <laughs> That's confirmation. Don't give us any bullshit about the Hippocratic Oath. Your website clearly states that the only oath you've ever taken is to your one true Lord, Dumbala. <sighs> <laughs> I treated Charles recently. Well, tell us how to kill uh, My apologies, but I have sick patients with actual curses to attend to. Please, he's killed everyone we've ever loved. My mom, his dad, the woman who took us in after, even Jake's eight-year-old foster brother. We can't live like this anymore. Don't forget his cat. What is happening out there? Is dying. Chucky's died before. Charles' soul is tainted with Christian magic. He mentioned something about a botched exorcism that. Uh, uh, <laughs> that was you guys. Hey. While in his current state, he is unable to combat the Catholic cancer that has taken root, <laughs> meaning he can't jump to another vessel until this affliction is expunged. Considering his advanced state, Charles is dying. He's gonna die soon which does not mean that he will cease to exist his soul will cross over to the spirit realm so is chucky a spirit or a soul spirit soul tomato 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 exactly well how do we get to the spirit realm by dying duh as a physician my advice is pursue charles no further only death and suffering await you on this path have a nice day I mean, what can he do from the spirit world by himself? At this point, just let him die? Do nothing? Question mark? I don't know. Okay, so these things are just bleeding through more and more. Quite literally. Sorry, I didn't even think about that choice of words until... I did not expect this to turn into a haunted house storyline either. Guess I shouldn't be all that surprised considering, you know, 
Voodoo has been a large proponent of this entire franchise. I, I think Teddy's death is bringing up some unresolved feelings Charlie, about Joseph and- I believe him. <laughs> I've seen Joseph, the Halloween gala. I saw him. No, James, that was Henry Stahl. No, Charlotte, it was him. Why didn't you tell me? We used to tell each other everything. Oh, shut your mouth. If you need to see Dr. Schneider again to help you cope with our loss, I can arrange that, but I need you to get a hold of yourself. <sighs> Frustration. Mommy has to go, Ma. And you have to be a good boy. What a fucking joke. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, isn't that that movie, like The Boy or some shit? Oh, wow. And this one. He didn't even get a franchise. Oh, oh my God. What are you doing? No. Check out my reaction to Megan. Ah, little bitch, she stole my moves. Fuck you, but three gun. <laughs> yes. Doctor was pretty convinced we were gonna get ourselves killed. He doesn't know us. We survived this long anyway, so. It just seems like it's gonna catch up to us someday. There's so many things I still wanna do, especially with you. Like what? You know, we're not gonna get back until late anyway. True. I mean, not the most romantic thing, but it works, I guess. I can't remember. Is this the is this the motel the same one? Cause I saw the glass up top. Is this the same one? Cause they focused in on that sign outside. Is that the same one from I forget which. It's either Seed or Bride of Chucky when they shatter that glass uh, mirror on top of a couple and shit. You ever been to California? No. And I've always wanted to go. I mean, maybe when this is all over, we can go on a like a cross country trip. You know, we haven't checked in on Lexi to be like, well, maybe they texted. Maybe they. Obviously, we have cell phones, so maybe they texted and let her know, but we didn't see anything about her being like, you know, chipping in or throwing in her take on their whole little road trip plan. We don't have to go back, you know? We can still go on that trip now. Oh, no, we can't leave Lexi. I mean, she's our family. No, oh, I know. She can come with us. I think you can convince her we were scared. We're the heroes. For the final girls. I mean, oh. Jamie Lee fucking Oscar winning Curtis. All right. One of the three's dying, man. It's just, it's just going to happen. And now I think it's Devin. They think they're seeing ghosts for fuck's sake. And it's all my fault. I am not protecting my. He literally showed you a video, by the way. There may be some truth to what James told me. Oh, you. are you kidding me? <laughs> Charlotte, please. No evidence, no leads. I don't think we're dealing with a political assassin or a serial killer. What we're dealing with is something supernatural. <laughs> you want to pin the murders on a disappearing kid on a ghost? Uh, well... Oh no, it's like one by one every time. It's a different one of the kills. Dude, I'm still upset about that one. How dare you? It's him again. He won't stop calling. <laughs> She's really taking over this place, man. I said I didn't want to talk to you. Even if it's your last chance. What are you talking about? I'm the one on death row. I'm dying, Tiff. <laughs> okay, well. Call me when you resurrect. Not this time. No, it's the long oh, dirt nap for me. The big enchilada. I screwed things up with Dombala. Didn't pay the spiritual power bill, and now it's lights out. No. No, Chucky, you're a cockroach. You always come back. Not this time. I'm not even sure what it was all for. No, Chucky. You've lived a great life. And you've ended so many more. You know, Chucky, <laughs> despite everything, despite all the times we've tried to disembowel each other, you're still the brilliant psychopath I fell in love with. Pull yourself together. You're Chucky the killer doll. Don't you want to go down in history as the greatest serial killer of all time? I say go out in a blaze of glory and take as many as you can you on the way out you just put a pep back in his step god damn it pep 
absolutely right. Dude, is he gonna Independence Day this shit? Just go boom! Fuck. What's he doing? One, and what's he doing in here? Two. Is this a trap? Daddy, look, out. look, kid, if you didn't do that, he wouldn't have, this wouldn't have happened. You got him killed. Good job. Oh my god. It's been fun, Mr. President, but I'll take it from here. Oh! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh lord. Ugh. Gah. Well, what's your excuse going to be now, guys? Huh? Oh, no. Oh, no. Wow. Dude, Chucky's going to incite nuclear war. Perfect transition into the fallout season that is coming out later tonight. All right, man. Wow. That's that's some escalation. That's for sure. It's really interesting how they're making things even more supernatural by diving into a lot of these other factors and with the ghosts living within the, the White House, which is, you know, a long running like mythology behind the building itself and working that in the story and then their own ghosts that have followed them in here with their son and then him trying to send these messages but he literally it's his fault his dad just died good job joseph it's whatever he's a kid he's a kid ghost he's going to be just as dumb as a normal kid but good job he's like dad look out huh you caused the problem but then chucky came in there playing like possum and caught him off guard regardless and then just went to town man the 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 gore work in this show is really fun. They don't hold back at all. Interesting enough that Tiffany was the motivating factor given everything they've been through here recently that got him motivated into getting back into the swing of things because he himself was just ready to just kick the bucket, give up. He wasn't even getting thrills from the kills anymore. We were kind of like when they went to see that voodoo doctor guy and he's like, hey, he's dying. Maybe just kind of pack up, let it be. Because if you keep pushing your luck, you know, I think you're you're going to, it's probably not going to work out all that great. And then they were doing all this lovey-dovey stuff, you know, all these little foreshadowings, talking about the happy ending they could have, blah, blah, blah. Everything about it was just screaming, well, shit, you know, maybe we should. Even though I was like, hey, you just waited out, he's just going to die anyway, no need to go back in there. You know, even without their involvement, you know, Tiffany did interfere and got him back on the grind again. And like the doctor even said, though, if he does a big enough display, he could get his immortality back. But at this rate, I mean, what would be the point if he just proceeds with this plan? But I really think they're teeing up for one of the three to die, man. I still haven't heard if there's going to be another season of this. And with the announcement that they're going to be making a new canonical Chucky film. Makes me wonder if uh, this is the last season and we might actually lose some people. I don't know. I'm curious to see what happens next, regardless, and I'll be following along. Dude, him like seeing all the new dolls and all that stuff that's come out after him and him like critiquing and criticizing him. It was like the boy, then Megan, and then what was that Goosebumps? I don't know, was it Slappy? That's what it looked like. And the Megan one, man, that's great. I would love for them to actually follow up on that. That would be a fun little thing. And I really enjoyed that movie, all things considered. Definitely enjoyed it more than the Chucky reboot that came out, which was basically the same concept. The house itself seems to be coming to life and trying to warn them, but it's only really causing more problems. The only thing it did, you know, that worked out in their benefit is got the wife's attention. She was the one really pushing against us. Even our little CIA guy was starting to believe in the supernatural because it's the only thing that makes sense. The house at least helped with that, but didn't save, didn't save the president. I don't know, man. I'm curious to see what happens next, but 
I imagine a bloodbath is right around the corner and we'll see what happens. But guys, what did you think of the episode? What are your thoughts, your theories? Sound off the comments. Let me know your thoughts down below. We'll carry the conversation after the video. I hope you enjoyed the reaction. If you did, leave a like, drop a comment, subscribe if you're not already. Remember to see the full length reaction as always. You can check it out over on Patreon or if you're going to be able to channel, get you access as well. And speaking of before we go, I want to shout out our channel legends. Many share it, Ryan Karen, your course called Melita, Robert Ongiono, Jeffrey Hill, Jake Cantrell, Eric Official, Casey Wood, Russell Crockett, Justin Smith, and Brendan Boyd. Thank you guys so much for continued support. That's it for this video, guys, and I'll see you all in the next one. Take care, everybody.